Good morning from Park Model Homes. We got our new 2020 Park Model in from Woodland Park. This is our Liberty 260. This is probably one of our most popular floor plans and we're extremely excited to have this unit on our lot. Um, with our new 2020 models, we have a lot of new decor changes, um, options. Um, we're very excited to show you guys what this unit looks like inside. Uh, we're just gonna do a quick little walk around here. So um, we did the clear story ceilings. So you'll look above the secondary eave. Um, those add the windows up above, gives you the tall flat ceilings inside. We added the black window shutters. Gives it kind of a nice touch, you know. Um, this one we did the shingled roof on. Most of the time we'll do a standing seam metal roof. Uh, you have about six to eight different colors to pick from. Anyways, adding the secondary eave, that is gonna help you if you were to add a secondary uh, structure, maybe even an awning to go over your porch. Um, and it just gives it a little bit more curb appeal as well. So this one does have a secondary door. You can put a washer and dryer in most of our units and that's where it would go is in the secondary door. The main door is a sliding glass door and you would still have egress in the bedroom if you need to escape. So having that secondary door is not a huge deal. Um, something else I like about Woodland Park is their frame is all pressure treated. A lot of manufactured homes that you see by the time they get delivered, they already have rust built up and everything on it. So they they treat these to not rust out and they last for a long time. That's part of the reason why Woodland Park extends their warranty out up to three years. Most other builders is only 12 to 16 months. So another huge selling point on, on Woodland Park. Uh, we do offer Canadian and US park models. So if you're up in Canada, uh, we can certainly deliver up there. So, all right, let's take a look inside. This thing is beautiful. We're extremely excited. As you can see, we did a lot of the light whites and grays. So starting the living room here, we did the 72 inch sleeper sofa. So that folds out to a queen bed. We also had the lazy boy recliner. Really nice flooring. This is our new PVC flooring. It looks almost seamless but they do come in separate pieces. So it's, it's quite a bit easier to repair or replace certain parts of the floor. You can actually see there is separate pieces. So if it's damaged, it's pretty easy to, to replace. Uh, we also did the electric fireplace. This does actually put out some pretty good heat. Um, and it also looks like a fire, so it's kind of nice looking. Um, this is a 55 inch TV takes up a good portion of that wall but it doesn't overwhelm it so that was kind of a nice thing to show how those TVs would look above that fireplace and so in the front here we did the front window package basically what that does is it rounds off the front so you can see how it indents here so it rounds off the front it adds a couple square feet to it and we also added the Pentagon window up above so you'll look through here all the windows that we naturally have in this house it just makes it so much more open and bright we did the 14 foot flat ceilings tray ceiling with uh, the trimmed in gray so everything's trimmed in the cabinetry color of your choice we also did the upgraded backsplash full extension here's the farmhouse sink this is kind of a new color. We used to use a um, satin or a oil rub bronze, but this one's actually black and I think it looks really well with how we trim out the whole house in the black. We got the wine rack, cabinetry poles are in black, and they're all soft closed cabinet doors and drawers. All that stuff comes standard. We've also got cabinetry lighting underneath operated by a dimmer switch so let's go over here the ceiling fan was included as well that's part of the new decor package as well so looking over this way this is probably one of my most favorite floor plans and one of the main reasons is is you have a, a kitchen and a dining area combined 
So with 399 square feet, if you were to have a separate dining area, a separate kitchen, and a separate living room, it's gonna take up a lot of that living room square footage. So when you take the kitchen and turn it into a snack bar area where you could still eat, then you take advantage of it's almost 12 feet long is this living room. So this is one of the biggest living rooms you're gonna get in a park model. And not take away from the dining kitchen area. So we also did the upgraded stainless steel appliance package with a convection microwave that comes standard, the convection does. Um, the stainless steel is an upgrade though. Uh, this pantry is actually pretty large. It's almost 32 inches in width. Um, so lots of storage there. I have seen people put a washer and dryer in this unit. Like I was saying before, basically we would move that fridge over to where this pantry is, remove the pantry, and then put a louver door for your washer and dryer where the fridge is currently at. So coming down the hallway here, I'll just show you this real quick. This is our propane forced air furnace, but we also optioned in a ducted air conditioner. So you'll look here, there is floor registers throughout the entire home. So you got heating and cooling already kind of turnkey as it sits. So looking in here, we've got our 39 inch Neo Angle walk-in shower with our new cabinetry upgrade or our new cabinetry package as well. So you got the three mirrors, cabinetry lighting underneath, elongated toilet. We got the cabinetry over the commode and the extended countertop. So, you know, actually this bathroom's got more countertop space than the one at my house does. So it's kind of nice. Um, this is all the new decor as well, trimmed in black for the the shower, it used to be satin, which you can still do satin, but the black really pops well in this house. So, some more storage there as well. So we know storage is a huge benefit, and so under the staircase, I don't know why most people don't do this, but we did an open shelving concept underneath the staircase. I've heard of some people doing an all-in-one washer and dryer, but I don't believe those things work very well. So I'd always recommend doing a 24 inch stackable. Um, but you know, this is a good spot for your books, maybe towels or something like that. Um, just having the extra storage is a huge benefit. So coming into here, this is our dropped floor unit. So when we drop this floor, it's gonna give us an extra 12 inches of ceiling clearance. Not in the bedroom, but in the loft. When you look right here, the whole floor of the bedroom drops down. So the whole drop loft is gonna give you an extra 12 inches. So you're looking at 54 inches of ceiling clearance up in the loft. This is a queen size mattress. And as you can see, you got enough room to kind of maneuver around the bed. Got the cabinetry over the bed. And what I kind of liked about this, you got the dimmer switch and the lighting underneath the cabinetry is operated by dimmer switching. Um, USB outlets for your phones. And then you got all of this cabinetry here. You got the his and her closets, bake of drawers in the center, and that space right there will easily fit a 32 inch TV. And it's already prepped for it as well. You got your coax plug in, your outlets, and you, Got a light switch in here, so for the light above. So this house has got a lot of storage, and that's actually a standard feature. Those those closets come standard, which most other builders charge you for that option. Um, something else I like that Woodland Park does, they've got a very nice railing, as opposed to just a natural wood railing. This goes very well with the decor in the house, and this is a standard as well, but they don't roll their carpet on the rise of the stair. They do it in the cabinetry color of your choice. So it just makes it look a lot nicer and it's easy to clean. Small details like that really make a house usable. So this is the upstairs loft. We have two sides. So this size you could easily fit, you know, maybe a futon, put your TV over here in the corner 
or on top of this. You got your own air conditioner. Then you have this side of the loft as well, so you can easily fit a queen size mattress for sleeping quarters or storage, um, or if you want to store your grandkids up there. But and then we also got a little cabinet here. All the windows up here are opening, so you can get a nice breeze, get the AC going, and this is egress too if you need to escape. Anyways, we're very excited on this house and we ordered about four to five more units. This unit is on display right now in Spokane, Washington, but we will be able to sell this nationwide. So if you're in the outside of Washington state, still give us a call because um, we custom build and design every house that we do and we can ship anywhere in the country. Anyways, call Park Model Homes, 888 222-2699.